Thank you. I'll give you a five minute warning. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Thank you all. Thanks everyone for coming. This is uh, my first time being involved in the Creative Mornings and I can see what an awesome community you guys have all built together. This is pretty awesome. Um, thank you for <clears throat> Yulia and the whole team for having me as a speaker. Um, I'm honored to, to share what I, what I do know. I'm not an expert on the topic, but I, do, I, do, I can relate to it quite a bit through what we do here at the brewery and uh, my body of work as an artist. Um, and uh, again, welcome to Saltwater Brewery, and uh, I hope you guys uh, have a great morning. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I was born and raised here in South Florida, right in here in Southern Palm Beach County. And I grew up um, fishing, hunting, surfing, kind of taking advantage of uh, our natural resources mostly. I was really driven to the ocean and the wildlife. I was fortunate enough to I uh, have a family that took me out of the water to fish and took me to the woods to hunt and taught me a lot of values that I think that a lot of South Florida um, is, is, is deprived of. Um, we do have a lot of local natural resource. Um, one of the things that I think I took away and I take away from those experiences so much is the, uh, the ever um, occurring uh, death of, of, of doing, you know, partaking in some of these things. So um, I've, I've kind of uh, got a little um, a personal view on how that we are all part of the life cycle we're all part of the life and death cycle we'll go into some of that um, and um, so I, I went to school at FAU graphic design I came out uh, in a, working for myself a small fur or a small office I had in uh, by FAU a art studio I was a fine art major um, and I went on to do fine art paintings. Uh, you see some of my paintings on the wall uh, here, and I translate those into graphic design and created a business out of that. Um, through that, started working with um, some charities and other conservation efforts to kind of help give back. But what it really led me into the bigger picture now for me in my life and what I'm doing here at the brewery, um, we came together in um, 2012 at, here at Saltwater Brewery. Uh, one of our other founders, Chris, is here this morning, and uh, his family uh, and a couple other partners. We got together in 2012 and decided to um, start a microbrewery here in this, this new booming, uh, booming industry, which was then still kind of in, in its infancy. Um, but we ground broke in April 2012, and we opened our doors in December 2013. Um, one of the things that we came across when we were deciding you know, what, where we were gonna go as a brand was um, we knew we wanted to use the ocean and salt water as our, as our identity. And, but with that, we felt like so drawn to giving back to that and the why of what we do. And the why is to help preserve this ocean community and everything we do day to day basis. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about death in a literal sense and how it relates to what we do here at the brewery and what we do to try to kind of fight our own efforts. Every day we're, we're involved in, um, in practices that are kind of unavoidably uh, related to the killing of our environment, to the, to the death of our own humanity. Um, it's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy world we live in, right? We all can agree on that. Um, as humans, we are part of the ecosystem. We are not separate. And we need to recognize every day when we wake up that death is certain for every organism on this planet. Um, we, we go about our day to day and we do our day to day and we, um, we kind of lose track of that sometimes. So it's kind of, a, kind of a cool opportunity this morning to get back to some serious stuff, but at the same time, turn into a positive, what we can all kind of do as a positive. Um, like I said, uh, saltwater brewery. So our mission really is to was to preserve and maintain our greatest wonder, um, and our attachment and desire to maintain this wonder is what drove us uh, to pursue a way to give back. Um, so go into here. Well, I'm going to go miss my slides here. Sorry, guys. Um, some of my artwork, as you guys can see. Um, this is all inspired by fishing, diving, uh, hunting, um, not many wildlife paintings here, but this all portrays into um, the con conservation that I've 
become a part of um, um, preaching about and actively being involved in. Um, so we're going to move into a little bit about uh, what we actually do here at the brewery and the conservation. Um, conservation, by definition, is an ethic of resource use, allocation, and protection. Its primary focus is upon maintaining the health of the natural world, its fisheries, habitats, and biological diversity. To me, we, we can't prevent it. We can't prevent the death of the ocean. We can't prevent the death of living things. We can only try to reverse and prevent what we as humans are impacting to cause that at such a rapid rate. Um, my focus really is going to be on the ocean today. And the ocean, the death of our oceans, the rapid declining of the, of the, um, the health of all of our fisheries, it's pretty bad and it's pretty scary. And we can all go about our day to day and no matter what we do, we are contributing to it. So it became such a big focus for us that we started getting involved in um, multiple uh, avenues of work that we can uh, essentially give back to certain charities, certain organizations, and um, uh, certain things that really, really will make an impact. Um, not just the preaching, not just the talking about it, but really getting involved hands-on. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll get into some of this stuff, and a lot of you guys may have seen, uh, seen a lot of this stuff going on, and have seen a lot of talks. The past 20 years, the ocean has become such a huge, huge issue um, and it seems just like every day it gets worse, and every day people, people keep putting out more fuss about it, more fuss about it, and, but what are we all doing? We're getting in our cars, we're doing everything we can, you know, to do nothing about it. So um, that's the point I'm driving home today. Um, <clears throat> so it's kind of interesting, too, in the way we've related uh, our, our why and our brand. Um, has just, without even trying, has drawn in this massive, you know, group of people and, and supporters and followers. It's become a marketing tool that is priceless. And it's something that we're passionate about and it shines right through the work we do and you can't hide it, you know. And people are drawn to that when they, when you're caring about, especially something as sensitive as the earth we live on, the death of our ocean, the death of species, um, where, where are we going to be in a thousand years? Are we going to be around or are we going to kill ourselves? You know, that's, that's essentially what's going to happen. We have to make those choices. Um, some of the people we've worked with in the past, Coastal Conservation Association, uh, the lobbying, uh, a lobbying uh, committee that works at the 17 states, and they work against the commercial fishing and overfishing, and they balance with the recreational anglers, um, essentially uh, ensuring life, you know, life lifetimes to come of, of being able to harvest and, and um, not over harvest our oceans. Um, we could say we're fighting the death of the natural world around us, but I mean that more, like I said, in a, a human sense, that the causes we've created, we need to fight. We're fighting our own battle that we've created. Um, it's not like we can prevent this. We're all gonna die, uh, the only thing it is certain here is that we're all going to we're all going to go one day, right? Um, it's become so important that we people get angry, people are getting upset, people get physical, um, people need a voice. Social media is maybe not the right platform. I don't know. It's a real easy way to to yell and scream, but it's different when you get out there and you get put your hands on things. You put your hands on dead animals, and you relate to the death or passing of a creature. Um, when you see someone pass, I don't know how many of you have, but it's, it's, it's emotional. Um, many of us have had friends and family, of course, who have passed. And it's a natural thing, but, and we get emotional about it, but what's, you know, how can we get emotional about it if we're the ones kind of doing it to ourselves sometimes with all the things we're eating and all the things we're putting in our bodies and you know, these lifestyles that we're all living, um, there's a balance and um, it, it runs through from human and our nutrition all the way through the ocean to animals and we're all interconnected. 
Um, the death of one species is partly the death of us. You know, uh, we're all one big circle. Um, a couple more of our partners that we work with, the Surfrider Foundation. Um, their number one thing is against single-use plastics in the ocean. Um, we've all seen the photos like I just showed, the fishing nets, uh, the gill nets, um, the plastics. This here is a sea of plastic from the Caribbean. I believe this is a recent one after Hurricane Irma that I found. Uh, this was just uh, pretty, pretty eye-opening. And this isn't just the problem about, uh, I don't want to sit up here and talk about, you know, trash and pollution and all that stuff, but it, to, to me it, it just, it, it's such an easy connection to us throwing something away, us using a straw. Um, we're all guilty of it. Um, you know, I'm going to get into some things that we're going to try to do in the future that can try to prevent this stuff. Um, we work with uh, awareness, of, awareness events and uh, on-site here at Saltwater as well, off-site events, and we've worked with, uh, with some of these charity foundations, some of their banquets and galas, and raised hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds and hundreds, just for the sake of lobbying to get these politicians to understand what we're doing is killing us. Um, these are just some, a photo of some of the microplastics. Uh, we, we, we recently screened a really cool video, uh, movie, a short film, I should say. Uh, Jack Johnson had the, um, a, a big role in it, as well as a Five Gyres project. It's called The Smog of the Sea. And it was about um, the smog of the sea is, is the microplastics you don't see. And there's millions of them out there that are not just on our coastline. They're 400, 500,000 miles out to sea. And they're, they're just eating up everything. Everything's eating them up and dying, you know? And the whole, I, I suggest all you guys, it, it'd be a really cool uh, video to, to kind of take upon yourselves to go see. Um, and you can, it's a 30 minute video, you can check out, but it's very impactful. It's a little bit saddening, but it's, uh, it's the truth. It's the truth. So we've, um, we've, we've, here at the brewery, we've, kind of wanted to be setting an example. Um, one of the things that we're trying to do as being in the brewing culture is uh, setting an example for good and making sure that every move that we make is for the right decision, the right reason why. Um, without that, we would have no drive. We would have not the right passion and we would be doing things um, for, for the dollar. I think for the dollar is where it, what got us here today. And I think we all know that. Um, the dollar can equal death, I guess you could say. Uh, it's, really a, it's really a crazy thing. Um, you know, what we've done the past uh, year is get together with, um, uh, partner with a couple companies, and well, many of you guys have probably heard about the environmental six-pack rings that we co-created. Um, and we partner with We Believers and Entequilia, which are our partners out of New York, Argentina, and Mexico. So it's a worldwide uh, project, and uh, this, this here is what we're displaying for now. We're still in some testing phases, but this here is the first fully compostable, biodegradable six-pack ring that does not harm wildlife, that actually saves it. And it's, it's still, we're about ready for launch. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, yeah, that one definitely deserves a round of applause. This, that's, that's a big one. Um, it's made out of uh, natural material. Uh, think of it as a paper pulp made from the brewing, uh, made from a byproduct of the brewing material, which is wheat and barley. Essentially, we have spent grain that goes out the door and feeds local uh, ranches. Well, we're trying to turn that spent grain uh, back into a product that's usable, fully sustainable, full circle, that's also now, you know, being beneficial to the environment and um, countering the, countering the death, death of certain species. Uh, we've all seen the photos of like the turtles wrapped up in the six-pack rings and the birds and it's we've all been cutting up the six-pack rings since we were in, in middle school or you know or even longer before that and obviously it's not really it's not really the solution you know the solution is to get rid of get rid of this type of stuff so with this with this step um, you know, we could be globally looking at a game changer in not only the beer world but in a lot of forms of packaging. Um, and why six-pack rings, it, it applies 
not only to just the beer industry, but a lot of verticals, like I said, and the single-use plastic problem is the number one thing that everyone can relate to. Uh, many have seen it, like I said, and the photos you can Google search and, and find whatever you want on it. There's thousands. There's, there's more, there's, well, here we go. Yes, there's more photos. Um, this type of stuff is like just what you're finding in inside of fish. And, you know, as a fisherman, I harvest fish and I believe in the ethical practice of fishing, but overfishing is where you're be, you becoming a really big issue. And then you have, you add in this type of thing. This is a total, another human cause. Um, I don't wanna, I don't think anyone wants wanna eat a fish that has that type of stuff in it. It's gonna cause our own unhealth. You know, it's, 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 it's these type of things that, it's just again, it proves the full circle of this life and death that we're all kind of um, and wrapped up in that kind of never stop to think about sometimes. Um, I think the literal sense of somebody dying is, is the easy one to go to, to relate to death, but you look at it as a whole, it's humanity, it's dying. Um, and that's the scary part. Um, so here we are on the six pack rings again, of course. And um, so these are gonna be released. We, will, we haven't released them yet. Uh, we are still in the, the final testing phases of some of these, but we look for a launch uh, towards the end of December and January. So make sure you guys follow us and keep posted on that stuff. We'll, um, we'll definitely be making announcements yeah, they'll be for sale here first, and then they'll go into market, yeah, as a testing platform. Actually, when we do that, we encourage you guys all to come get them and you know, give us your feedback as well, as that's something that we really need to help this project move forward. Um, <clears throat> so, the only thing that is certain in life is death, and I keep coming back to that because um, it really is the only thing we can count on. So every day when we wake up, you can't count on that car to start. You can't count on whatever you want to do, that plan that day, that week, that month, that year, and get upset about something because you kind of just have to be happy or alive sometimes. And that we're all here able to drink coffee and, and mingle together and have a positive morning. And it's amazing. This is something to cherish uh, right now in this moment. Um, it could be gone so fast. And you have 24 hours in a day, right? And it's up to you to decide what you're gonna do with those 24 hours. You can, you can do whatever you want with them, but that's what's gonna depict you know, what, it, what we are as a, as a, as a culture moving forward, um, how all of us choose to use those 24 hours if we have them. Um, so you know, a literal meaning, an environmental meaning, a cultural meaning, um, I think there's so many different ways that everyone can interpret the word death or what it means, uh, the death of a culture, the death of civilization, the death of, um, you know, a, a small creature on the, on the forest floor, uh, a giant creature, a whale in the ocean. Um, we're all interconnected. We are the ones who are causing more harm right now than anything that has ever come and plagued this earth. So I don't mean to sound too dark, but it's just, it's one of these things that um, we really got to focus and maybe, maybe taking away um, from this could be, you know, a point to take away would just be to change one thing in your life or think about one thing that could uh, possibly prevent the death of another organism um, or unintentionally or intentionally. Uh, you know, as a, as a fisherman and a hunter, it's, it's a catch-22, but in my experience in that, the people that are most connected to the natural world are those who are partaking in the act of harvest. Um, and that's not to discredit anybody who, whose opinion who, who differs from that, but in my experience, uh, the people that I work with hand in hand in conservation efforts, um, uh, Coastal Conservation Association, the National Wild Turkey Foundation, um, Quality Deer Management Association, all the way to Surf Rider Foundation, um, these are all people who have a lot of times partake, partaken in the, in the taking of a life of a creature um, and they understand it. They really understand it. And they understand how important that moment is and uh, it becomes emotional and you, 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 you begin to really want to make sure that nothing's done, you know, in a way that you can't control. So. Um, I would also encourage all of you to, to, to get involved in um, 
in, in some of these conservation efforts and exposing yourself to the realness of, uh, of nature's power and the ocean's power. And um, we all know that nature will take us uh, out in the ocean or, or out in the field as a hunter or a fisherman. Um, you know, we put our, I put myself at, at risk, uh, uh, even surfing, things like that. You know, these, these ocean activities that we seem at Saltwater Brewery to all kind of gravitate towards. Um, there's a much bigger power here. And um, the much bigger power is Mother Nature. Um, we can't stop her, and we have to work with her because we are a part of it. Um, and I think, you know, I could beat that in your guy's head. It's, it's talked about, again, it's just, I come back to it, it's just talked about, it's talked about, it's talked about, and we talk about it and talk about it, but um, unless you can get involved, it's hard to talk about it. So, um, basically, um, I want you guys to kind of reflect on where you fit into that circle and for your own sake and how it can um, potentially uh, better you, humanity, and your business even. Uh, like I said, um, these are just things that we're passionate about at Saltwater. Uh, we're passionate about the environment. We're passionate about saving wildlife, the oceans. And it is amazing how far it reaches people. Um, if you look at the campaign that we did with the edible six, the uh, environmental six pack rings, and we said edible because the, the campaign was marketed to be an edible product for um, basically went to a trash dump, came into the ocean or a waterway somehow or a forest, an animal could actually munch on it and not, not be harmed. Um, we've, we've rebranded to environmental because of FDA reasons, really, but it's still the same product. Um, but just to give you an example, for a business standpoint, um, Something as serious as this, serious as this, is, is going along this topic of death. It appealed to so many people. Um, we had zero media investment, not one dollar. It was all collaborative effort. In less than five days, we hit 105 million social media views, 1.8 million shares in five days, and 3.5 billion global impressions. So it was one of the most viral campaigns to ever be on the internet. Uh, in the history of, of all of this, of, of viral. So um, I think that just goes to show the importance of how people connect to that, and it relates right to this death, because it's, we inherently know that, you know, what we're doing is killing the environment. We can only do what we can to do the best we can to, um, to help save it. and. Um, Encourage you guys all to, to hopefully support us when we come out with these things uh, and release them, but also to, uh, to, to, to lean towards products that are, that are better for our environment, that are helping save our environment, save us, save humanity, um, so we don't ruin it all one day. <laughs> but uh, with that, I just want to say thank you guys. Hope I didn't uh, get too long-winded, but this is a cool, I'll end it with this painting that I did uh, from the 2010 uh, Gulf uh, the oil spill, the Blue Water Horizon, BP Horizon. This is just a depiction of the actual, um, the actual platform exploding. Um, I think there was something like 17 lives lost on that, that day. It exploded. Of, you know how many millions of fish and, and whales and things that were just destroyed. But you're talking about a loss of life from A to Z because we want to drill for oil. You know, so it's like we all get in our cars and do it, but. But what are we going to do to, to try to think about the real future? You know, we can't not drive a car now, but maybe in the long future we can be doing things that are a little different. Um, but no matter the meaning to you guys, whether it's cultural, environmental, um, spiritual, philo philosophical, uh, it's, death is a part of our life. It's not separate. Um, every day we get closer to it, and uh, it's something to realize. And I think the moment you can kind of grasp that and, and understand that, it's like, this awakening of like, what can I do better? You know, so hopefully that is kind of what's taken away from this. And um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Um, thank you. Okay.